everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode Maeda Sans Vase. Ta da! I made Odin! A baseball signed by my favorite player, Boo! Hey guys! Huh? If you have extra clay to waste, can I have some? Huh? Why is that? I ran out before I could finish. Yeah, I guess I can spare a little bit. Here you go, Boo. Huh? Thanks a lot, guys. I'm finished. I'm done, too. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to wait until we can paint our vases. I'd like everyone to put their vases on the shelf to dry, please. Okay. <laughs> Maruko! Huh? Maeda's gonna be absolutely furious, Boo! Wait, I had nothing to do with this. That's your fault for throwing the washcloth! Uh, it's Maeda! <laughs> Butaro, yeah. you missed a spot! Get it! All right, Boo. Wow, it's unusual to see you two working so diligently. I guess it's just good to see a nice, clean classroom. I agree, Boo! Really? Hey, Maeda, I noticed the shelf at the front looks really dusty, Boo. Oh, you don't say. That's a task for you, Maeda. Just leave it to me. <sighs> this is a disaster. What are we going to do about it? I have no idea. I think you'd better tell the truth and apologize. Oh. What? How dare you break my face? <sighs> Let's just try to fix the minor damage. It's just a little superficial damage, Boo. No, that plan will never work. What if she discovers what happened? We'll fix it so that she doesn't notice. Uh, all righty, then. I'll just leave it to you, then. Hey, wait just a minute. You should help us fix it. Wait, why me? Because you're partly responsible for this, too, Bill. Yeah, that's right. If you had just dodged the washcloth, then none of this would have ever happened, Maruko. Wait, what? Really? And when Hamaji and I were trying to conceal us from Maeda, you didn't tell her what happened, Boo. Y yeah, but that's just because I... You're just stuttering because you know you're responsible, Boo. Let's talk about this. If you don't want her to find out, then you need to help. Just what huh? do you think is going to happen when she finds out the truth about this, Boo? Uh, 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 I'm home. Mom, Hamaji and Butaro are coming over. Is that okay? Oh, that's unusual. Yeah, we have craft homework that we need to do. I see. I'll bring some snacks out then. Oh, mm. thank you, Mom. <sighs> Hello! Uh. Shall we begin? Which bit should we start with? I think we should probably start with the rabbit, Boo. All right, who's gonna do it? Mm. Ah, let's rock, paper, scissors. <sighs> rock, rock, paper, paper scissors! scissors. Huh? Looks like you lost, Maruko. 
Yeah, the rabbit's all yours. Uh, yikes. Why am I so nervous about this? Hi, kids. Uh, Hi, Mrs. Sakura. Oh, look. That's your homework, huh? Yeah. Hey, I'm not being rude, but you're distracting us, Mom. All right. I'll leave you kids to it. <sighs> that sponge cake looks delicious, Boo. Uh -huh. How about we take a little snack break? No way! We haven't done anything yet, guys. Rats. Let's see here. Maruko, it's a little bit short, Boo. Oh, you think so? Wait, wait, wait. Now the air is way too long. No, I think it was more round than that, Boo. Hey, my Ada's ear was more thin. No, it's a little too thin, Boo. Doesn't that look kind of crooked to you? That isn't right, Boo. Let me try. Cut it out, ah! guys! All this nagging is driving me crazy. Sit there and be quiet. Okay, Boo. Oh, Maruko. Huh? I didn't realize you were all in here. <laughs> Good, Good afternoon. afternoon, Boo. Hello, boys. How are you? Oh, you're doing some crafts, are you? Uh, yeah. Hey, do you need something, Grandpa? We're just a little busy at the moment. Ah, you're so mean. <laughs> just let me sit and watch for a while. I promise I won't bother anyone. Oh, a raccoon vase, huh? Looks pretty well made, kids. <sighs> it's not a raccoon. It's a rabbit. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Hey, wait here for just a moment, will you? Okay, Maruko? How about using this for your thing? A carrot? Hmm. After all, rabbits love carrots, right? And if you add this to it, everyone will know it's a rabbit. <sighs> well, you gonna use this or not, Maruko? Grandpa, thanks for your help, but we don't need it. Uh, why not? Uh, well, you see... <laughs> uh, because it... Because? Because it'll rot! Oh, my goodness, you're right! Sorry, Maruko, I'm afraid I'm just no help. No, it's all right. Okay, then. Good luck, kid. <sighs> Thank you, Grandpa. <sighs> we need to put these towels back on. We just need to put them back in these indentations, right? Let's finish this off and have sponge cake, Boo. Hmm. Piece. Yeah, but there's no indentation to stick it in, Boo. Well, I'm sure she won't notice one missing piece. Yeah, I guess. Looks like we're all finished, guys. <sighs> Maruko, do you mind if we leave Maeda's vase here to dry overnight and have you bring it back and put it on the shelf in the morning? <laughs> oh, oh, please. <sighs> How do I get pulled into things like this? So, the next morning... <laughs> oh, hello there! <laughs> good morning, Maruko. <laughs> good, good morning, Maida. How are you? I must say, this is a first. I don't think I've ever seen you in the classroom this early. <laughs> hey, you guys are here too? That's weird. I just happened to wake up early, that's all. Nothing weird going on here. This is super normal, Boo. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the cutest rabbit ever? Yeah, yeah. Super cute. Hey, these are clovers, right? That's right. And one of them's extremely special because it's a four-leaf clover. <gasps> I thought it would be nice if only one had four leaves. Uh, uh, oh, the, the extra, extra piece! piece. <laughs> I wonder if it's dry yet. Uh, Wait, uh, hey, Maeda, Maeda, take a look at mine. Don't you think it looks cool, Boo? Huh? Uh-uh. See, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex face, Boo. Which one? Where should I put it? Well, here goes. No guts, no glory. Yeah! Huh? Uh, hey, wait, what are you doing? Uh, oh. Maida? I can't believe you broke.
broke my bunny rabbit vase. <laughs> I was going to give this to my grandma when it was done. I worked so hard to make it nice. <laughs> uh, we're sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Boo. Uh, uh, uh. You're telling me you secretly fixed the vase you broke? Yes, yes we're, we're very, very sorry. sorry. Saying sorry doesn't solve anything! Well, we'll just fix it again. Don't be angry. It's okay. Never mind. I'll just fix it myself. Please, I'll do anything to make it up to you. Please forgive me. Yeah, I'll clean the classroom seriously now, I promise. And I'll pick up every single piece of trash that I see, Boo. <laughs> and uh, I'll put my heart into cleaning as well. Hmm. In that case, I want all of you to clean the classroom every single morning for a week before lessons start as punishment. Okay. Well, you better get started. <laughs> all the trouble they went to turned out to be in vain. Now Maruko and the boys realize that they should have just owned up to what they did and apologized from the start. In this episode, Maruko wishes to have a lucky one. Goodness. Huh? That's crazy. What happened to your face, Grandpa? Maruko. <laughs> How'd you get that mark on your face? Did you get hit by a racket or something? Oh, was it Grandma? She beat you pretty good, huh? No, no. I didn't get walloped by a racket. I got this right in a haiku. Haiku? Hmm. Oh, boy, I can't think of anything interesting. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so that's how it happened, Maruko. <laughs> so you're saying it wasn't done by Grandma, then. That's no fun. I... <sighs> Grandpa, your towel. Oh, uh, thank you. Huh? Grandpa, there's uh, a hair. Huh? A hair? I'll get it. Oh, I... I can't get it. Uh. It's stuck. Oh! Huh? Huh? I didn't know you had a hair growing on this place on your arm, Grandpa. Me neither. Wonder why it's growing out of this particular point. Oh, that's not fair. Why is a random hair growing out of my arm and not on top of my bald head? <laughs> it's quite strange for a solitary hair to be growing in a place like that, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Lucky hair. Lucky hair? What is that, Grandma? They say that a hair growing out of an unexpected place in your body is supposed to bring you good luck. Really? Wow. So you're not supposed to cut it or pull it out. You're supposed to leave it to give you good luck. A lucky hair that brings you good luck? Hey, Grandpa, has anything good happened to you lately? Hmm. Oh, come to think of it, me Matsuya gave me something for free the other day. Oh, what was it? Let's see. Where did I put that thing? That's mm. awesome. It must have been the power of the lucky hair. I really wish I had one. Oh, here it is. Oh. Take a look. You can have it. Uh, what is it? No, thanks. I'm fine. You don't need to be so selfless. I'm not being selfless. Go on. Take it. <laughs> Huh? Strange, I don't recognize this envelope. Oh! Huh? 5,000 yen! My goodness, I completely forgot that I put that money in there. What do you say you and I go eat something delicious with this 5,000 yen? Hooray! Lucky! This just goes to prove that weird hair of yours is lucky, Grandpa. Oh, my lucky hair! Thank you, hair. Thank you, hair. Thank you, hair. <laughs> Boy, I envy you. I don't have a lucky hair, Grandpa. You see. Really? A lucky hair? I tried to find a lucky hair on myself, just like Grandpa, but I couldn't find a single one anywhere. Morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. But you'll keep looking, right? Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to find one. Huh? What's the matter, Maruko? Oh, how much? A lucky hair! Huh? Yeah, you're right! Hey! Hamaji! Uh, what is it? Hair! Hair! Hair? That one 
one right there in your hand. It was a lucky hair, but you just pulled it out. Oh, you mean this hair right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just string. It's not a hair after all. I felt something tickling my ear. It must have been that string. I guess it came off my hat or something. It wasn't a lucky hair. I'm so disappointed. A what? I heard from my grandma this morning that a hair growing in an unexpected place is quite lucky. So when I saw this piece of string on your ear, I thought it was a lucky hair, you see? Huh? It would have been good if it was a hair. You betcha. My grandpa has a hair growing on his elbow and a few lucky things have happened. He said he got this handkerchief for free the other day. Uh, <laughs> that's not exactly the most exciting thing to happen. <laughs> All right, forget about the handkerchief. But be honest, it sounds cool, huh? Come to think of it, I think my grandpa has a long hair growing right about here on his arm. Really? Has anything good happened to him? Hmm, something good, huh? Yeah, like he won the lottery or he found a gold coin on the street. <laughs> Maruko, is money the only thing you care about? Oh, no, there's been nothing like that. Uh... <laughs> Life truly is good. He has a long, healthy life. I think he's pretty happy in his own way. I guess, yeah. If he's happy, then that's kind of lucky, isn't it? <laughs> Making money isn't the only way to happiness. Big problem, Boo! We're going to have a math test tomorrow, Boo! What? A test? What did you say? <laughs> did you say there was a test tomorrow? Oh, Maruo. I've heard it's a test about everything we've learned so far. It's an opportunity for my great intellect to be assessed. I'm gonna work harder than ever! <sighs> I'm sure you're the only one in class who looks forward to being tested. All right, now everyone should study as hard as they can when they get home today to prepare for this unbelievably important test tomorrow! Goodness, he sure seems excited, huh? Ha! If there's something I really despise, it's studying for a test. I want to be tested on my natural ability. I absolutely agree. You've got the right idea, Boo. I agree with you. Studying for a test means that you're only prepared to be assessed in that particular moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous reason to not study I've ever heard. <sighs> Even though I said those things, Mom will never let me hear the end of it if I get a bad test grade. <sighs> Huh? <gasps> this is it! Bon Appetit! Oh, what is that thing? Huh? Oh, this is a lucky hair. It brings good luck. A lucky hair? You're growing one as well, huh? It's not growing. I can see from here that it's stuck on with tape. Why have you taped a hair to yourself? I wanted to have a lucky hair of my own, like Grandpa, that's all. So I decided to make one all by myself. Well, speaking of that lucky hair, I noticed today that it appears to have fallen off. Look here, bold as an egg. That's such a waste of good luck. I'm going to cherish mine even more now. You can cherish it all you want, but it didn't grow out of your own arm. So if it doesn't grow naturally, it doesn't work or something? Oh, come on, you're such a square, Mom. This hair will bring luck, I'm betting it all. Really? Just what are you betting on it, dear? Uh, oh, just something silly, Mom. That's just like Maruko to chicken out of telling her mom that she's betting the test on it. I think it's ridiculous that you're trying to fake your way into getting good luck. Oh, yeah? That's what you think, huh? Well, if something good happens, you'll be the first to copy me. Not a chance. I'll never do that. All right. In that case, I think you should try sticking a hair to your face, sis. Right down here, so it looks like a gross beard. I beg your pardon? Sakiko Sakura has a big gross beard. Huh? Instead of your hand, you should try sticking it to your nose. It'll suit you. I don't want to have a lucky hair on my nose. <laughs> I can see it. Freakishly long nose hair. <sighs> you know I hate you, don't you, sis? Right back at you, you worm. You're the worm, you troll. Who are you calling troll, you worm? I called you a troll, you troll. Oh. You're a worm. Oh, yeah, well, you're What a foolish troll. sisters troll, they are. Troll, 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 troll. The next day. Mariko, is that... What I think it is? That's right, Tama-chan. It's my very own lucky hair. I'm counting on it to get me through this test. Please let me get a good score, my precious hair. What? Really? What's the matter? Huh? What's that about getting a good score? Yeah, what do you mean, Boo? You two guys should try it yourselves. 
it'll just take a minute to make your own lucky hair and stick it to yourself. You're guaranteed to get a better score in the test. Seriously? Oh, but I thought you said you wanted to be tested on your natural ability. No uh, way! I want to try it! I want to try it too! Uh, if you want, I guess it couldn't hurt, huh? Tamachan, you should tell them that it doesn't work. All I really want to do is follow my dream. Huh? Your dream? That's right. I'm just a regular woman who is chasing her dream. Okay, if you say so. Right! <clears throat> I'm a man who chases his dream. I'm a man who chases after his dream, boo. Oh, Oh, no. I pulled out too many, boo. You only need one hair to make it work, Butaro. Like this. Huh? Hey, what are you doing, Hamaji? We're all making our test scores improve with our lucky hairs. Huh? Really? I should try it too. What is going on? This was happening. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, really oh, exciting. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. What's going on here? I demand you answer me this very instant. Uh -huh. Maruko told me if we stick a lucky hair to our hand that we'll do better. Don't be absurd. You will never get a better score that way. I'm a man who chases his dream! As the elected class representative, I simply cannot accept this kind of ridiculous behavior. Why do you care? It's not like we're cheating or anything, right? That's right. We're not doing anything wrong, Boo. Uh, well, well, that's true, but still. It might not be cheating, but it sure is majorly silly. Well, Tama-chan, are you going to chase the dream with us? Um, no thanks. I'm fine without it. Really? I'm so sorry. But Tammy can't bear to have a hair on her hand. I can't stand the thought of it. No, no, no! Well, needless to say, the fake lucky hairs had no effect. In fact, it distracted the kids so much that they couldn't concentrate. 